Hi there, welcome back to my channel where I create tutorials with beautiful designs for your presentations. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create this interactive map presentation right in PowerPoint. By the end of this video, you'll be able to create a presentation that will help you to tell a story with your data and keep your audience engaged. And before we begin, please like this video, also make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future uploads. And now let's dive right in. First, what we need to do is to find an SVG vector image of a map that we can use in our presentation. So I'm going to search for word map SVG in Google. Let's open this first link. And that is exactly what we need. Just click this button that says download SVG and save it on your computer. Perfect. Let's switch to PowerPoint now. I've already created a new blank slide. So first, let's bring in the SVG file we've just downloaded, navigate up top to the home ribbon and click on picture, then select picture from file, find where you've saved your image, select it and click insert. Let's increase it so that it covers the entire slide. I'm gonna hold down my shift key to maintain the proportions. Also, I'm gonna leave some space at the top of the slide for the slide's title. I don't really like this gray color and I want to change it to a very light blue and SVG file allows to do this very easily. With the image still selected, I'm gonna open the format pane which is this button up here. Then in the pane let's expand the fill section and open up the color menu. I'm gonna click on more options and in this pop-up I can simply type in the hex code for the color I want. You can see we have these outlines around each country and we can change their color by applying the same light blue color. Let's expand the line section, click on the color button and we can just select our light blue color that we've used previously. Perfect, next we would need to ungroup these VGs so that we can apply styles to each country individually. So with the image still selected, I'm gonna press Command to Option Shift G on my keyboard. If you're on Windows, that would be Control Alt Shift G. If you see this warning pop up, just click OK. As you can see, now we have access to each piece of the SVG. Now let's create a title for the slide. I'm gonna grab the rectangle with the rounded corners tool from the Shapes menu and click anywhere on the slide to create that shape. We'll need to set height to 1.2 cm and width to 14 cm and let's make the corners even more rounded. Just grab this yellow square and pull it all the way to the right side. And now let's change the fill color. I'm gonna navigate to the format shape pane and in the fill section we'll need to click on the color tool. Then in the menu I'm gonna choose this very dark bluish gray swatch. In the line section, we'll need to choose no line to get rid of the outline. Next, we'll add some drop shadow to the shape. Let's switch to the effects tab. And in here, we'll need to expand the shadow section. Then just click on the presets and select the first one. I'm gonna set color to this dark blue. And then let's update some of the values here. I'll set transparency to 18% blur to 16 points and distance to 6 points. We need to make sure the shape is centrally aligned. I'm gonna go to the align menu and select align center. Great, now let's add the title. Select the text box tool from the home ribbon. Click anywhere outside the slide and type your title. I'm going to set its font to Montserrat Black. If you don't have this font in your PowerPoint, you can download it for free at Google Fonts and install it on your computer. Next, I'm going to set size to 16, change text color to white, and place it on top of this dark gray shape. Let's make sure the text is also centrally aligned. Perfect, the first slide is done and we need to create the second one. 
In the slides menu, you'd need to click on the first slide and press Command D or Control D on your keyboard. It's gonna make a copy of the first slide. So let's do the first country. I'm gonna select the United States, then go to the format shaping. In the fill section, click on the color tool, more colors, and type in the hex code. And use the same color for the outline. Next, we'll need to add drop shadow to the shapes to give them some dimension and to separate them from the rest of the image. Go to the effects tab, click on presets, and select the central one. We'll need to set transparency to 75% and blur to 27. And now we need to create a tag. I'm gonna grab the rectangle with rounded corners tool from the shapes menu. Click on the slide, change its height to 0.8 and width to 3.7. Let me also make the corners fully rounded. Then I'm gonna remove the outline and set the fill color to the same pink color we've used on the country shape. And now let's add shadow to the shape. I'm gonna go to the effects tab, open the press menu, scroll all the way to the bottom and select the very last item. Also, let's change these numbers here. We'll set transparency to 18, blur to 16, and distance to 3. And also, I want to change the shadow color to dark blue. Actually, let me use this color on my country shape's shadow as well. Alright, let's continue creating the tag. I'm gonna grab the circle tool from the shapes menu and click on the slide to create a circle. We'll want to change its size to 1.3 by 1.3. Then get rid of the outline by selecting no line in the line section. And for the fill I'm gonna use gradient. And now we'll need to create that gradient on the gradient scale. The left handle is going to be white. And the right handle is very very light gray. Also make sure the type is set to radial. And in the direction menu, select from center. And now let's do the drop shadow. Go to the format shape, effects tab, and click on the presets. Select the central option in the outer section. Change blur to 16 points. And the shadow color to this dark blue that we've used previously. Let's position the circle on top of this pink shape like this. And now we just need to add the text content. The tag is going to have the country name and some percentages. So once again, grab the text box tool and type in the country's name. Set font to Montserrat Regular. Size to 10. Change color to white. And place it on top of the tag. And now let's do the number. I'll set font to impact, size to 14, also click the bold button, change color to this dark bluish gray, and place it on top of the circle. Then select all text items and the text, and go to arrange, align, align middle. And while still selected, let's group the tag. Just press Command Option G or Control Alt G if you're a Windows user. And let me place my tag like this, a bit overlapping the country's shape. Now we need to make sure we bring a copy of this tag to the previous slide for the beautiful animation effect. So with the tag selected, just press Command C or Control C on your keyboard. Switch to the first slide and press Command V or Control V. We need to make sure we hide this element by moving it outside the slide area. I wanted to enter the slide from the top and slide down to the bottom. So I'm gonna hold down the shift key on my keyboard and move this item up outside the slide area. Holding down the shift key will let me keep it along the Y axis as I move it up. And now we just need to go back to the second slide, switch to the transitions tab in the top menu and click on morph transition. You can already see the beautiful effect it gives us. 
Our second slide is done, so let's move on to the next one. Create a copy of the second slide. Here we're gonna do Brazil, which is this shape on our map. I want to do a little trick here so that I don't have to apply all styles step by step. I'm just gonna select the United States shape. Then click on this format button up in the home ribbon. This will copy all styles on the selected shape. And now we can simply click on the shape which we want to apply the styles to. Great. And now we just need to change the fill and the outline color. I'm gonna go into color, more colors, type in the hex code for the color I want to use, click OK, and apply the same color to the line section. As you can see, we didn't have to apply and set up the shadow effect here as it was copied from the other shape. And now let's copy the tag. You can just hold down the Option key on your keyboard or Alt key if you're on Windows and pull the entire group to a side. Position it right next to Brazil, overlapping it slightly. I'm gonna update the number. Then change the country text to Brazil. And bring it more to the center of the tag. Actually, let me make it a bit shorter. And now we just need to apply the same color we've used on the country shape. And for the animation effects, we'll need to copy the tag, bring it onto the previous slide, and move it up outside the slide. Let's quickly run the presentation and see what we have this far. It looks beautiful, I'm gonna create my next slide. Select the United States shape, then click the format button to copy its styles. And let's apply these styles to India. Change the fill color. And the color of the outline. Next, we want to create one more copy of the tag. Update the tags here. And apply the same purple color to the tag. Don't forget to bring a copy of the tag to the previous slide. And move it up outside the slide area. Great, let's move on to the next slide. Here I want to do Australia. The steps are all the same, so I'll speed up the video and come back when I finish all the slides. All slides are finished, let's run the presentation and see the final result. I hope this tutorial was helpful, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell so you don't miss the upcoming tutorials. And I'll see you in the next video, bye!